Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. And I'm just hand holding my phone here. Make this corner. This guy pulls up right in the middle of the of the street, of course. You know that this street is mine. It's nobody else's. <laughs> There I go, ranting. First couple of sentences of my video, huh? And I'm already on a on a traffic rant up here. That's the high school gym. I'll be over there later today. Remy's got a ball game at three, I believe, and uh, Stephan and uh, Sonny has one at uh, four. But Sonny's is in Slidell, so Stephanie's going to take her. And I'm going to bring Remy. And my son was happy for him. He got to go down to uh, the Bernie area where I was last week. And uh, that's where he grew up, of course. And see one of his high school friends, one of his best friends, uh, Dustin. Dustin and his wife are having a baby and they're having a shower today. And uh, Calvin, this will be his last chance to go anywhere besides uh, softball for this Saturday. Uh, after after this weekend, he's, he's tied up. So I was glad he could get away and uh, take a little, he's just gonna run down there and come back, uh, come back tonight. Uh, not tonight, he's gonna spend the night and come back tomorrow night. He's gotta beat the, uh, Tomorrow we're supposed to get a little uh, precipitation tomorrow evening, and it's going to be freezing, so he said he'd leave early tomorrow and get back up here <coughs> before the moisture started. So, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll work out good for him. So I hope he has a good time. And, uh, yeah, I just want to talk about some upcoming uh, plans, uh, some coming up quick and some a little further down the line. Uh, yeah, like I say, he's starting his softball. So he's got three tournaments, and I follow up most all his games. I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm up here. I've always done that. Look, look at this. They're starting a new uh, subdivision. Yeah, I haven't... Uh, Dennis, I haven't put the uh, new phone holder in you gave me yet. It's just been so cold. I haven't felt like coming out to the car and even slapping it in. So I still got the old one sitting there, as you can see. But uh, I'll get I'll get it in here. I, I think it's going to work out really well. It was a fire truck. Uh, yeah, he's got three tournaments. One in Brock and one in Graham, which I'll be able to do some videos, you know, hanging around over there in between his games, and one down in Stephenville, which will be good. Stephenville's got a lot of, Stephenville's a very nice town. That's where he went to uh, college, so I'm familiar with Stephenville. Or I'm familiar with the way it was uh, 15 years ago, anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I'll be getting some videos in in this area and they play over in Jacksboro once so give me an excuse to go over there they've got a state park over there uh, uh, Fort Richardson State Park so I can do the fort and uh, Jacksboro's got some neat places I can run around and do that state park do several videos so uh, yeah I'm gonna be out and about and uh, yeah, I'm driving right now. I filled up my tank yesterday. I'm driving right now on a uh, on a tank of gas that uh, Todd sent me a gift card, and uh, I filled it up yesterday. So this uh, this video is uh, sponsored by my buddy Todd down there in Brenham. Thank you, Todd. And the Geezer Mobile thanks you. She was thirsty yesterday, so. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the uh, upcoming plans, and then of course this summer, uh, in uh, when school's out, this season is over. Uh, right after the girls' state tournament, 
or you know, sometime in that area, the first part of June, he's going to pull me out to uh, Fort Davis and uh, uh, I'll get set up out there and spend the, spend the summer. And this last year I came back about the middle of September and because I really, him, him and I, as most of you all know, we both have the same birthday, September 21st. And uh, yeah, that took a lot of, that took some planning on my part, didn't it? But uh, yeah, but anyway, no more birthday cakes for the geezer. They were all his after that. But this last year, I wanted to be back for that birthday because it was his 40th. So uh, this year, I think I'm gonna miss the birthday. It was just too hot here in September still. I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'll, I probably won't come back to uh, till uh, mid-October or even first part of November of next year. I'll just stay out in Fort Davis. Now, all this is uh, based on uh, God's uh, plan, right? So uh, <laughs> these are these are my plans his postman pull right out in front of you. They're in a big hurry to run their route, get home, get them a cold beer. So I understand. But, uh, yeah, I used to drive that school bus, but we didn't get in a hurry because you were delivering something a little bit more precious than uh, pieces of mail. So uh, safety, safety came first in that job, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all that. That's the plans. Whether you know, hopefully they will, they materialize like that, you know. But like I say, it's up to the, it's up to the big guy if he. That's what he wishes for me to do, and that's what'll happen. So uh, yeah, I was on old Rusty's live yesterday, and I uh, was commenting on there about the heat up here, and he actually asked where I was now. So I told him, I, I don't know if he knows where Boyd is or not. But uh, yeah, and this summer, when I'm out in Fort Davis, I would like to, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run up for four or five days and go to New Mexico. I haven't been up there for, oh, four or five years. Run up to Rio Doso and uh, yeah. And you know, just take, just run up there in this geezer mobile and get me a Motel 6 or whatever and uh, run around and do some videos up there. And uh, I know several people up there to go see. Yeah, I'll go up and see old Levi up there on the mountain. Yeah, yeah. I'm even, uh, I'm thinking about, uh, you know, I'll definitely get a, get a motel, but maybe a night or two, I may get me a little mattress and fold these this back seat down and uh, it's gonna be plenty cool you know get up high enough up there where I could camp out a couple nights I just need a mattress and a little cook stove and uh, you know save a little money that way so uh, by that time I probably had me another dog I plan on getting another dog when I get out to Fort Davis uh, yeah if not sooner uh, one might come and find me, you know, you never know. So I'm a sucker, I'm a sucker for a, for a stray dog that looks like it's in need. So <laughs> yeah, that, that wouldn't surprise me at all. No, you know, I haven't showed you any livestock, have I? Let's see what we got here. Here's a, here's a few, my neighbors over here. Those, they, they always have three or four out there. I guess I don't know. I don't know if those are pets or they've always got the same. It looks like the same three. But, uh, all right, guys, we're pulling back up on the Casa de Geezer and the Raised Right Ranch. And man, my upload speeds out here have been slow, slow. So this one's going to take a while to upload. I talked a little, I rambled a little bit too much. But everything's working well in the Casa de Geezer. Keep my fingers crossed. 
My water didn't freeze up and it got down to 17 this morning. There's my three-legged buddy, Hank. He's loving this weather. And uh, I guess the girls have, uh, I see Stephanie's car is gone. I, uh, I guess the girls have Dixie inside the house. I can go in there and check on them. Dixie has got a sweater now, so she's, she's as my old friend Manuel Delgado would say, she's styling and profiling. I don't know if that made any sense, but there's a lot of things Manuel said that didn't make sense. So. All right, guys. Adios. Talk to you all later. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Keep your health. And uh, try to stay warm. Adios. Bye-bye.